Alright, hey there guys, and welcome back. Sadly enough, there's not going to be a tour video today. I had to scratch that. Um, because of the login servers, because of that exploit, that the hackers were able to get into people's accounts who mo migrated their accounts over to Mojang, which pretty much if you wanted to get into your account, you had to. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Mojang. No, I'm just kidding, but they're fixing it. Um, so, in the, I guess, you know, to hold you guys over, I'm going to show you guys, this is something related to Mine United, but it's not going to be a Mine United video. It's going to be just kind of something of saying, I'm sorry, but it's not my fault, so don't hurt me. But, um, someone gave the suggestion in the room, and I did get the tables and brewing stands set. But someone said, you know, when you flip it over to shut off the water up here, um, to have the switch to lava. And I was like, that's a great idea. So I actually got it working. As you can see, the water's up here, which means water's flowing down here. Once the water's off up here, there's lava flowing down here. And this is what my test... This is what I tested with, and I got it all working. I didn't wire up to the second one, just because I was just getting something uh, done and tested. But the water shuts off, switches over to the lava, and the lava flows down. Like so. And then we can easily switch it over. I don't know if, if this works like this in um, SMP. I hope it works the same way. You notice how it's not turning to cobblestone. The water just kind of sits on top of the lava. And I'm hoping it's like that on SMP. I don't know if there's going to be a difference with that. But it works. So I incorporated it on this, co this corner. Oops. Hopefully lava doesn't destroy anything. Go away. Go. Uh, that was a far range. Uh, but yep, I got it all wired into this corner. Got everything all set up. So like I said, you can see the water up here. The water signifies that water's here. I was thinking about also moving the pistons over in the corners. So like the water would flow from the corner of which the water's flowing down here. Um, but eh. Not too worried about that, but you hit the button, water shuts off up here, water's off here, and the lava's coming down. And then, like I said, pretty much the lava flows down, and I like the feeling it adds, you know. There's lava, you can I can switch these all to lava if I wanted to, or I can switch them all to, to water. It, it's a cool effect, and I kind of was like thinking about it too. I was like, I looked at this room, and I'm just like, look at all this redstone, I mean... I could just come out here and just, just look at all the redstone <laughs> everywhere. So this is going to be a big project for me, but then I was like looking at the room and I'm like, this room has so much, like, um, it does so much. It's not just a room. It has so much functionality to it. Like, I could flip the lights. I can switch. I got, well, like, obviously you got the dispensers. I could automatically hit a button. I could hit a button... Have this automatically switch over to water. Have water dispense up here. It's just like this room has so much functionality. I don't know how else I could put more functionality in here. But like I said, obviously now we got some water. And the other ones aren't switched over, so obviously these are all still levers. But these are going to be switched over to buttons. But it's just crazy to think about how there's so much functionality in this room now. And... Like I said, I was experimenting with the tables. I like the design. Probably going to stick with that. I don't think what else... I don't think there's anything else I need to add other than, like, potions. But I'm not sure what I'll do with that. Like I said, I'm probably just going to do it, like, you know, one here, one here. Kind of thing. And then just do that all the way around for potions. That's at least what I got planned to do, and then got plenty of these uh, brewing stands and everything and I was oh man, back on the subject of the tour video I was actually looking forward to that because I had a subject I really wanted to discuss um, but I guess I could discuss it hmm but I guess I could discuss it here really quick um, not nah, actually I don't want to discuss it I might just put it down as a note and talk about it during the actual video. And I don't think these servers are going to come back. And I mean, it's it's already two in the morning, 
and it's kind of like this i i needed to be recording that you know now because i really don't want to be up at 3 a.m finally being able to record because then i have to record that usually takes an hour there you're looking at another probably half an hour editing time maybe more you know it's kind of like i'm probably just gonna either try to get up early and hopefully the servers are back they should be hopefully be back <laughs> if they're not then oh well they'll eventually be back but it's just i don't know i'll try to do it in the morning but no guarantees on that and it's just you know like i said it's gonna take a long time to get it rendered get it or get it edited get it rendered get it uploaded and everything i mean by the time you guys see it it'll probably be later in the day on sunday and uh, based on my sleeping schedule, it'll be late at night. <laughs> it'll be almost nighttime by the time that video will go up. So it's kind of like I think I should just push it off a day again. Um, because I don't really have a choice to it. And yeah, this is all the wiring. You can kind of tell where I went with this pretty much. It does that little torch thing that comes up here, it splits off, comes over here, and alternates it like it does on each way. Alternates it here, alternates it here which comes down to that piston there, but then it also comes around here to this piston. Pretty much because, you know, basically if the lava is, if the water's on, obviously you want the water here. So if the water is on here, the water's flowing down there and everything, you could just kind of see what I did and then just kind of ran it over to the pistons. And then in order to switch it, I needed these pistons here and what happens when you hit the button it just sends a, sh uh, a short pulse to this piston which basically this is where the hole goes straight down into the room now it's not a problem with the water because usually when you shut off the water it's kind of quick well also because I'm in single player um, but it, 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 even in servers it's quick to update uh, lava's a lot slower so obviously when the lava is flowing down and I switched them, it would always turn into a cobblestone here. And so pretty much I had to get rid of that source block here. So pretty much that's what this piston does. It just sends a, a short pulse, a really quick pulse. Just as you, when you hit the button, pretty much it just pulses it to get rid of the block in this area here where the stone is. Um, it just gets rid of that so the water can come here and start flowing on top of it. So it doesn't turn into cobblestone. And that's how I got that working. Because I, I did some experiments here. Like I said, I was that's why you saw all that cobblestone over here that I just destroyed. Um, which was because I was I was attempting some... some uh, I don't know what gate it's called. Um, but basically the gate where it's just, you know, this with the, the two torches connected by redstone. You know, this thing, I can't remember what gate it's called. But I was a te testing with that because, like I said, I needed I needed to have something where I can get the piston down before the... Because I had also had a bunch of repeaters. I was not doing the best way to do it. So I had a bunch of repeaters and, you know, the whole entire time it took to actually get here to shut it off. You know, by the time it was already too late, it turned into cobblestone. So I was, gonna, I was attempting one of those gates up here. To where the current would automatically go into that, come over and switch the piston automatically, and then the timer would come through, and then come back around and switch off the gate. I was attempting that, and uh, if you guys are confused by just what I just described, don't worry. <laughs> it's probably not the best way to do it. Just whatever I did here is the best way, which is just pretty much just at the same exact time they switch. So this goes up, this goes down, same exact time by the wiring. And then before those switch, though, this sends a short pulse. Because obviously, I don't even have a repeater on this line. And these are repeaters to the third tick, I think. Yeah, third tick. So it's a little more delayed, so that's enough time for this to give a short pulse, retract. And then if it's lava, it gives it enough time to update a little bit. So... I could do this here. So you'll notice they... I don't know if you guys caught that. Oh man, I wish I could move this button somewhere. Let me see. So you notice they all... they switched. And obviously the water's flowing down. 
because oh, there's enough delay to it. Okay, well, it, it retracts, and it's pretty much, that's right when this stuff starts flowing. But it gets rid of the block there, so if it's lava, that retracts. And like I said, that's that block there is, you know, like I said, right here. It's already gone, so it's already down there, which if well, water goes on top, which I don't get why it doesn't turn into cobblestone, but hey, it works. And I'm actually thankful it works like that, because... That would be more of a, a pain to wire in because basically you would have to figure out a way to get it to where it would close it and then you'd have to wait enough time for that lava to up be gone and then open the water and then like vice versa. And that would be a, a royal pain to wire in so I'm actually thankful it doesn't turn into cobblestone as the wall half is going down the water hits it. Everything's perfectly fine. So yeah, I hope this guys hope this holds you guys over for the tour video, and I don't have any other uh, videos recorded, so I, I don't usually today I would have a uh, kind of a map uploaded because I have my mind united every other day. So, sadly enough, it doesn't work out like that. So I'm just hoping this this will hold you guys over on the updates on this thing, and I, it's pretty much complete. All of now, all that is now is to, to actually do it. And I just, ooh, uh oh, I got the supplies. I actually got pretty much all the supplies I need, except probably I'm gonna be slacking on the redstone in, um, just because um, I got my supplies before I designed this, which is gonna take a lot more pistons and a lot more redstone and repeaters to do, because I gotta do this on the four corners. So it's gonna be like you know, like I said, one, one, four, five. Five pistons each corner. And I think I don't even have the pistons actually for these up here. I don't have any pistons, I don't think. So that's going to be something I got to do. Um, but yeah, that's something I, I. That's the only supplies I need is the redstone in. I just need to make get enough repeaters made, get the, these things made, and I think I got enough redstone wire. Uh, but yeah, so that's about it. That's the progress made on this, and that's going to be made in Mine United. So we're going to get started on that in the next episode tomorrow. And tomorrow is just going to be really getting the room set, get the, getting pretty much the room set. Um, probably not going to get any redstone done because that's going to take a while. But who knows, maybe I might even get some redstone going. But I got the lamps too and that was a pain in the butt because I actually had some glowstone. Enough. Well, kind of. I had to go get some more. But anyway, I'm going to start. I'm going to keep rambling um, because I'm... I'm, I'm in a rambling mood. So anyway, uh, also, before I do anything, I think today uh, Alec's video is going to be going up, his Mine United video. Um, if it's not up, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Just keep your eye on his channel. Um, probably most of you are subscribed to him. Uh, but anyway, he's going to be uploading a Mine United video, and you guys should all check it out. I am in it. And... You know, everyone just loves me, so... No, I'm just kidding. But definitely go check it out and everything. I know probably a lot of you guys are subscribed to him because, you know, you guys are here for the Mind United. So you're probably you're probably uh, watching his videos, too. But anyway, just check out his videos. Check out his videos. Check out that video. I'll try to link it in the description. It should be there. If it's not there, like I said, just go to his channel. I'll link his channel in the description. Just head over there. I hope I hope this held you guys over, and I do apologize. This is the second week I did not get a video up on Sunday. And maybe you guys would be saying, like, well, why didn't you record it in advance? Well, I was wanting to, but it didn't occur to me until today that I was like, oh, I need to record it. And then I just got distracted and distracted and distracted. And I went over to a bonfire over at my neighbor's, so that's what distracted me so much tonight, too. I was like, oh, crap. Um, and then, like I said, I wasn't expecting the servers to go, login servers to go down. So then it was kind of like, oh, I'm kind of screwed now. So, who knows. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the Mine United episode tomorrow. See ya.